Hey, Ron Hart here, sitting on the Stockton Street Bridge in Capitola. Well, not really, but that's where I took the picture. Uh, the Lord's just really been putting on my heart uh, the whole bit about where our state is going. So I want to share this as an opportunity and not anything negative. We all know where the problems are, but what is the opportunity to change that right now? So are you satisfied with where our state's going right now? Well, if you are, you probably don't want to watch anymore because I'm going to be talking about going the other direction. But I'm not here how to tell you how to vote, but I'm here to encourage you to steward that opportunity that we do have to vote right now. Statistics say that more than half of Christians in our country, in our state, do not even vote. And there's enough of those around that if they did vote, we could change the direction of our state in one election. So I just wanna encourage you to go further on, on the webpage that I'm putting together. Just look at it as a whiteboard. It's not finesse or anything like that. I'm just trying to get a lot of data up there so that you can uh, figure out what God wants you to do. A lot of us say, well, I pray God's in control. Well, yes, he is, but he gave us dominion over our area to steward that. So. At one point, we can pray, decree, and intercede for our state, but sometime in the, we have to vote. We just have to get out there and do something in the earth to change the direction of where we're going. What we're presenting here is just basically platforms versus personalities. A lot of us that get into, I don't like this, I don't like him, I don't like the way he does that. But we're going to every, no matter who's up there, they have a game plan. So we want to, uh, put those game plans before you so you can see them specifically uh, by item by item and compare them and then pray about them and vote. Again, it's not about the personalities. No recommendations, so this can be shared from a pulpit. And uh, we've been shunned and shut down and bullied and say we can't say anything in church about elections. Well, yes, we can, and it's legal. So if this resonates with you, please share this with your pastors. In other words, I'm going to put up uh, on Facebook also. I want you to like and share that. But this is grassroots. God's saying, if my people will humble themselves, stand up and pray, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear their voice and change the So that means we need the vote to change that. So I'm going to go down here on the page. I'm going to give you just some details. How do you register? How do you vote? Uh, those types of things, and uh, we're here to serve the kingdom, not in politics, but the govern from a kingdom perspective. So that's it. Go down through here, click on things that uh, you need to know, and uh, I'll have a contact form at the bottom if you have some questions, you can get a hold of me. So bless your day as we go forward in the kingdom.